Well, well, well. Good morning to all you filthy animals. How y'all doing? Hi, it's the Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama. All right. Let me tell you. Andrew Tashbar, okay? Andrew went ahead and um, he wanted um, he wanted his Xbox uh, RGH. Well, yeah, this is not a send-in. This is actually a... Uh, this is actually a... Um, you know, just a uh, just a simple RGH, okay? So, what we're gonna do, okay, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna RGH this thing, okay? Now, got a nice little Trinity here, okay? And um, what we'll do here, first we're gonna test it, make sure everything works on it, all right? And hopefully everything will work on it. <laughs> we all know how that goes, right? Hey, Danny, there you are. How you doing, brother? All right. So anyway, here we are. We got a stock Xbox 360. Okay, that we're gonna we're gonna put a chip in. We're gonna RGH this thing. And for people who don't know what that is, it's a reset glitch hack, which allows you to run unsigned code from Microsoft, which makes it more fun than the stock one. So anyway, we got this all working. Okay, life is good. All right. So we know that it works. Yes, the tray jets nice and clean. Okay. Now mind you, I'm gonna probably have to clean this damn thing up. All right, but you know it is what it is. All right. So anyway. Okay, here we go. Now, of course, the tools for the trade, okay? Hey, Dustin, how are you? Owen? Steven, what's up? All right, now, tools, of course, we have a scissors, Torx, Flux, Dice, our little Xbox tool, a chip, some wires, and, of course, a J on a programmer, all right? Now, when things get out of when things get out of hand, okay, and it doesn't act right, well, we have a stun gun, okay. Yeah, let's see here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's not good enough, we have a stiletto. That'll work. When things really get out of hand, we have a nine millimeter, okay. Yeah, that. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I got the red tips in there. Yeah, that'll take care of it. All right. Now, of course, you know, I mean, for for old school. Like, um, mob action, like one to the back of the head, okay? What do we have here? Eh, we got a 38. Yeah, that'll work, huh? What do you think, huh? Yeah? When things get out of hand, this is what you do, alright? Then, of course, we have a double action. Yeah. 9 millimeter right here. Yeah, there you go. Right here, huh? Huh? So, you better freaking act right. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway. Okay. Hello, Colby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm doing well and keeping safe, man, as you can tell. I'm ready for the zombie apocalypse. I was going to bring out the AR-15, but not enough room. Anyway. <laughs> All right, look. Your typical standard Trinity RGH, okay? Tell you what. We're going to take this puppy apart piece by piece. We're going to clean it up, make sure everything's right on it. And uh, hopefully we will not have any problems. And there's little tabs in here that you push down on with this, with the end of this tool right here. It just comes right off, just like that. And grab all that. Okay. Then we remove the little Wi-Fi adapter. Okay. This is the good one. It's got the long antenna on it. I love that one. That's a, that's a Trinity one. Most of the time I put them in even the Coronas because the Coronas, they have this. Now mind you, you can attach a Wi-Fi uh, antenna adapter to it and really get some good signal, but this is all the Corona's got. Okay, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like man, I've only got two inches. Okay, you know, <laughs> yeah, you got gypped. All right, so, anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull this apart right here. All right, flip that over. Pull the drive door, and this just rips right out of there. That's pretty easy. No big deal. These are nice and simple. All right. And today I also got to do a laser etching, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, let's take that apart. All right, now, I'm going to do, oh, this thing is dusty. Oh, boy, this is going to be, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to reach down in here. We're going to pull that, and then that just crooks, crooks right apart just like that. No big deal. All right, yeah, it's dusty. And it's going to have to get cleaned, sadly. Okay, I just can't wait to take it apart and see what's in there. Probably all kinds of things. <laughs> These things sit, sit in a warehouse forever. And I get them and 
you know, the guy that uh, provided him to me, he's a really good guy, I've been doing business with him for years, and he's got a, he's got a hell of a warehouse full of his stuff, including the, uh, the older Xboxes and everything too, you know, so, and, uh, he just gets them to me, I just order them by the dozen or whatever, and I got a little shipment coming in on Monday, so, you know, as long as the mail runs, <laughs> With all this COVID-19 crap going on, man, it's like, you know, what the hell? It's good to see all you guys. Yeah, there's Trevor. How you doing, Trev? What's up, man? Colby, you long. I haven't seen you in a while, brother. Good to see you. Um, all right. I'm glad everybody's staying safe and everything. And trying to do the best that they can, I know. It's kind of, this day and age, it's kind of scary out there, you know? Uh... I'm waiting, like I said, for the zombie apocalypse. And uh, when that happens, it's on, okay? All my friends come to my house. Don't worry. I'll protect you, all right? Bring all your guns, bring all your liquor, all your whiskey and everything else, and we'll have a, we'll have a party, all right? Uh, let's see. Got plenty of TVs. We can system link all the Xboxes together and actually kill one another. It'd be a blast, okay? <laughs> all right. I'll take this one out. All right, now hopefully... Let's see what we got in this little magic box right here, okay? Oh, yeah, that's dusty. Oh, Christ. Yeah. It's been sitting. It runs. That's good. So we'll clean it all up. Typical standard. All right. Go ahead. We'll pull this. Pull these two out. And we'll pull this one out here. Like I said, don't get smart with me. I have lots of weapons in this room right now, and I will hurt you. And you know what? I can replace you. I've got a dozen of you, okay? If not more. All right. Pop that off. Okay. Take your eye out. Yeah, it's not that bad. Could have been a lot worse. All right. Pull that. Pull this. All right. Put this over here. It doesn't go anywhere. All right. Pull out the drive tray caddy. And yep, she's a trinity, all right. Not a bad shit. It's not terrible. It's just the fan's a little dusty. Eh, it's not that bad. Okay, life is good. This thing, this is your 4 gig memory, okay? Um, I don't usually leave it in there because it's known to have problems, okay? And when it does have problems, look out. Everything gets crazy. We're putting a 320 gig in this thing, so we don't really need that, okay? And we'll pull that out of there. Okay, we'll put this all in here. That way then it's nice and neat. I don't have to worry. Alright. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this little, this little X clamp right off of here. And get rid of that and that. Okay, good. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Okay, good. And what we'll do, we'll flip the board over. Yeah, it's not that bad. Could be a lot worse. And sometimes these things just like to be really cute. So you gotta release the cap. Normally they come right out, but you know, hey, what the hell. Alright, we'll clean this off. That's a good sign that it's nice and moist, so we know that it's not been overheated. Clean this up. Okay, put that off of there. Yeah, wipe that on board a little bit. Okay, then what we'll do is I'm going to take this thing right here, okay, <laughs> and I'm going to give it a blowjob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah, you do. Ha ha. A little planet. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, don't forget about the next cat. Yeah, there you go. Ah, ah, you like that? Yeah, it's a little bit of a magnet. Yeah, that's all cleaned up. Yeah, not too shabby. That'll work. Yeah, we'll put that over here. Okay. And then we'll put this down. And that's out of the way. Okay. Now. Haha. <laughs> 
We're all cleaned up. Get these wires out of the way too. We'll fire up the saddle iron. Okay. And uh, we'll run it 703 degrees. We'll flex our little NAND connections. This one and this one. These two are for the chip right here. This is our five volts right here. Okay, we're good there. We will take our chip. This one is sour cream and onion. Okay, and we'll flux these up right here. It's okay. Very simple. If you follow what I'm doing, you'll be able to do it too. All right. Then we'll use our 6040 rosin core. Okay. Now we get that all done. Yeah, let me check out this dinner. In the backyard to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> CJ, what's up? Paul! Paul Jackson, what the hell are you up to, bro? I haven't seen you in a while. Amanda, Dakota, all you guys, man. Oh, yeah, I'm still molesting the Xboxes, Paul. Uh, you know it! <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> it's all good, brother. It's all good in the hood. All right, now. Listen, we're going to take this crazy little thing here. You know, if you notice, this live stream is working really good because I had to buy a new router. My router slowly died. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it was like, it, it was working, but it would slowly die. Every day it would get a little worse and a little worse. And I'm like, oh my, what the hell's going on? And I plugged my uh, computer directly into my modem. And I, I've got like 200 down. I'm like, oh my, what the hell? And this router was bought not, not more than a year and a half ago. It cost me two hundred and seventy-five dollars, and it was a piece of crap. So now I got—I I, I mean, I—I I don't know what happened to it, but it was a TP. Uh, no, not a TP. It was a Linksys, and uh, you know, it was a tri-band. It was a real good one. It was supposed to be ultra HD and all this crap, and it just like all of a sudden, my TVs are going crazy. Everything's going nuts. I'm like, going like, what the hell? So I went down to Walmart, picked myself up a Netgear um, Razor, whatever the hell it is, some kind of crazy thing, and that was—that was like two hundred eighteen bucks, and I was like. Hey, thanks. Yeah, just what I needed, you know. But after I hooked it up, it seems everything is all happy now with the world. So, you know, I mean, just stupid stuff, you know. I mean, just ridiculous. But, you know, I guess, well, it's electronics, so who the hell knows. It could have got zapped, whatever, you know. But it was just a shame because I'm sitting here, I'm like going like, okay, well, that was a load of money gone now. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, well, such is life. Yeah, I'm not going to cry about it, that's for sure, okay. So anyway, we'll flux this all up here. Do a little ground right there. There we go. Nice ground. Yes. I already pre-trained pre -trained these uh, wires. You don't want to have too much hanging out. Because otherwise, you know, you could hit one of the capacitors on this board or whatever. And then the damn thing will act like a complete idiot. You know? You don't want to do that. I promise you, you don't want to do that. All right. And we have, see, we have a post out. That's our 5 volts. That's our ground right there. Okay. See here. There we go. All right, then we're going to have E and F. We'll grab hold of them. There we go. Paul, it's good to see you, man. I'm glad you're doing well. I hope you're doing as well as I am. That's for sure. Toxic is a tool rules. <laughs> ah, Chris Wright. Yes, welcome back from, from Facebook jail. <laughs> hey, dude, I had 30 days in a hole. Okay? Not a good thing. Okay? Just not a good thing. I, I, I don't understand Facebook's terminology. If you tell it like it is, people don't like that for some reason. And they just want to live in a rosy colored glasses and all that kind of good stuff. Well, I'm a realist and I can give a crap less. So they can all drop dead. All right, they don't like it too freaking bad. I don't care. All right. <laughs> it's my life. I'll do what the freak I want. All right. So anyway. Yeah. Now, Paul, Paul is a, Paul is a good friend of mine. I've known Paul forever. And, uh, Paul is, uh, Alvin R.G. Hitcher, he does a lot of U.K. stuff. Guy's real good, okay, you know. Anyway, there you go. We got that all done. That's all clean and everything else. We got that all done. Now we're going to take the motherboard here. And we're going to rip this thing over here. I'm going to put that right there, all right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pre-tin this son of a bitch, all right. And uh, like I said, you know, I mean, listen. You get out of line one time, one time. Right to the head, you hear me? Right to the freaking back of the head, huh? Don't screw with me, I'll hurt you. All right, now. <laughs> I love threatening any animal objects. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, now. Go ahead, we'll turn that up. 
tin that up. And we'll tin this. And this. And this. Whoop, there we go. Pretty easy. You just gotta go quick over the uh, points. Don't let the iron sit there forever, otherwise you'll, you'll, you know, take out the board. <laughs> you'll take out the point that you're soldering to. Not a good thing. All right, then we'll go down here. We'll do this one here. And that one there. And this is just for our NAND read. Yeah, this one always is a pain. This third one, I don't know, they, they must put tungsten in it or something. I have no idea. It's just so freaking crazy. All right. Yeah. We'll take our little sticky pad. All right. We'll grab our real A-ship. Always. Always. <laughs> you get those clones. Paul had a, Paul had one of those clones. He was not happy. Okay. <laughs> Neither was I. I got a run of them too. Don't feel bad, brother. It took me forever. And I wound up on one end of the spectrum, then wound up on all the way on the other end of the spectrum. And I'm like going, what the hell is going on? And then, you know, it came to me, I have a clone. And I'm just like, you little rotten little, and from then on, I told, I, I told everybody that I buy these damn things from, like, you send me clones, I'll never buy from you again, period. I was like, I don't want that crap. You know, I mean, the clock frequency was all out of whack, everything was all out of whack, it was ridiculous. All right, we'll move the roller, we'll move the radio over, the radio over, and then what we'll do is we're going to place this little puppy right here. This is where it lives happily, okay? Well, for my wiring anyway, okay? Other guys, they just slam it, whatever, you know. I mean, I, I, I do it this way. I've always done it this way, and it seems to be very happy when I do it this way. So, you know, what the hell? Okay. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to take our reset cable right here. and bend these all out of the way here. If you, have, if you have a good solder point, you don't have to worry about bending them all out of the way. Slip, slip that underneath there. And then we're going to take our little X-clamp tool right here, all right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that in there because there's a couple resistors that this wire has to go over. So you just got to easily prop it up and she'll reach right over and everything is fine. And then just move that like that, all right? Then we're going to do our post out, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take that. And that fits underneath there and fits underneath the, the reset cable. And then what we do is we just slide this over, just like that. Keep that nice and happy. That way everything is all tucked underneath the chip. So you're not going crazy with hot glue all over the place and everything else. Although I still do anyway because I don't want this shit moving. Okay? Now, we'll go ahead. We'll take that. And we'll move that over. That's E. And then we'll take F and we'll move that over. That way we've got a nice alignment with the wires and we're not crossing over wires and all that other stuff. It's just all underneath the chip, that's all. Alright, and that's about it. And then, thank you Microsoft for this little hole, which works out perfectly to put that reset cable in. And then we have another little hole, which works out perfectly for our post out. See, there we go. Get one pearl two, okay? Then what we're going to do, okay, this is what we're going to do, okay? We're going to go ahead and... We're going to grab hold of these. Now, this is going to be our 5 volt. Okay, this wire exactly fits perfectly. Just have to trim it like that. And then we're going to put that there just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab hold of the solder iron. We're going to tack that little bastard right here. Just like that. There you go. Got a nice little connection right there. Okay. And like I said with this, you just make sure that you mold this wire around the teradle, so then that way then the disc, the disc tray right here that goes through doesn't hit the wire because I've seen that happen many a time it's not a good scenario alright, and then what we're going to do, we're going to take this wire right here and we're going to put that you little put that right there, just like that, right alongside that and then what we're going to do, we're going to trim this right up right here just like this alright I don't like excess wire hanging out. It just makes me nuts. Okay? We'll trim that. We'll just trim a little bit off. Expose the wire. Nice, nice. And here we go. And that one right there. Just like that. And there you are. Okay? Now. Alright. We have 5-volt power. Okay? 
Now, just as an extra precaution, you get hold of this glue right here, and we glue that down, it ain't gonna hurt anything. And we'll glue this down right here. That way then we have a nice solid, it's to the motherboard, it ain't going anywhere. Okay, it's kind of important to do that. Not really, but to me it is, okay? Now, I'm gonna take these wires right here. Now this one will fit right over. And we'll trim that up. And this one will go right here. Tuck that up against the solder ball that we put on the board. And we will just go ahead and we will just slide it right on over. And we've got a good connection right there. Okay, nice and tight. And then we'll take this wire, put that along there. Go right to there. Just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll trim this one up. Okay. And then we'll go, yeah, I'm gonna take that off and then yeah, well, a little money. Alright, and we'll, then we'll trim that up there. Okay? Just enough. Don't want to have too much, because if it hits the other point, the thing will act like a complete idiot. Okay? And then we'll push that down like that. We'll stretch this out like this. We'll grab our hot glue gun. Put a nice little bead right here. And we'll put a nice little bead right here. That way then we're good. Let that sit for a minute. Blow on it. Okay. See? Nice, neat, clean. No problems like this grand. Yeah, we flip it over. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, I'll post that wire right here. And our reset cable right here. We'll trim that off. All right. Get rid of that. And then we just have to trim this wire right here. Just like that. Hey, Paul, am I doing this right? Do I got TP? Tony? Tony Messenger. How good to see you. Adam Stir. Holy mackerel. Dylan Turner. Wow. Good to see you guys, man. Ah, yeah, you got let go on good behavior, huh, Chris? That's good. Thank you, Jose. I appreciate that, brother. Danny, it's good to see you. And sure, hello. Jacob Allen. Yeah, yeah, Jacob, yeah, I know. You bought clones, didn't you? Yeah, you had fun with them, too, didn't you? <laughs> no, Trevor. No. <laughs> it's not. I, I, if it is, guess what, Trevor? I'm going to replace it anyway. So it's going to matter. In fact, you're going to be coming up. Ely, yeah, El Calis, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you guys. When it coming away, but oh, okay, cool, no problem, man. It's all good. Like a doc, steady hands like a doctor. <laughs> yeah, steady hands like a masturbator. <laughs> okay, so it. Alexa, shut up. I got all this technology around me. Let me tell you something. Sometimes I really think it's like watching me. You know. Just get that little bit of a heartbeat going. The dump, the dump. And there's Alexa, right behind you. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to trim this off. Hey, Paul. I don't know if you're still watching or not, but am I doing this right, Paul? <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. I don't know. Okay. So, anyway, all right. <laughs> okay. Look. Little flux. We do this pad over here. And then we do this cute little pad right there. And then what we're going to do is, these are small, so, unfortunately, I'm 53 years old. And I do need glasses. But, that's why I have this thing. <laughs> I can see everything. There we Now, I love people when they say, oh, you're old. Yeah, guess what? I got a lot of experience, too. <laughs> and you know what? For me to live this long without, without dying... And having money in the bank and just having fun, you know what? I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. So I'm not gonna complain about being old. I'm happy. <laughs> Alright. We're all gonna get old, we're all gonna die, let's face it. So might as well make the best of it. Alright, until somebody figures out uh, the fountain of youth or something like that. <laughs> it's all good in the hood. Alright, now there we go. Alright. Now we will take our tweezers. Yes! <laughs> okay. And then we will grab hold of this little mother right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to 
We're going to bend this tip, tip of the wire down a little bit so that way then it's hitting the motherboard. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to bloop, bring that over there. Got a nice connection right there. That's all we needed. And then we're going to take this wire, we're going to wrap this around, we're going to bend it around like that. We don't need the tweezers for this one. And then all we're going to do is we're going to grab hold of it like that. There we go. And we got a good connection there. Okay? Now, take this. Okay, do yourself a favor, guys, when you do this. Stay away from the capacitors, all right, because they do emit some frequency. And that can mess with your boot time, believe it or not. I had one that didn't want to boot with the crap in here. It was too close to the damn capacitor, and the capacitor was acting like a moron, and I didn't even know it. And when I moved the wire, oh, it booted right away, and I'm like going like, you little mother. <laughs> okay? So anyway, there you go. Okay? Now, that's the bottom half. All right? We're good. Ta-da! Okay? Easy. Now. Yes. MX2. Good stuff. I like it. Put a little blob on the chip right there. Like I said, it's very, very important to clean the heat sink up. All right, because you want it to have a good connection, especially with the copper conductor right here. Okay, so we're gonna wipe that off because I, I just touched it, and you know the oil from the fingers get on it and everything else. And it does, it does do some kind of resistance, which you don't want. So we're gonna wipe this off really good and make sure that all the heat sink paste is off. It's nice and shiny now. Okay, that's what we have to worry about. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to plop that on there just like this. And take this wire. We're going to plug that in right there like that. Then we're going to hold this. And we're going to grab our X clamp. And we're going to clamp it here. Clamp it here. We'll snap there. Snap there. You're done. Hooray. Okay. Now, for the fun part. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Now we get to read this little wee little man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're mine. <laughs> yes, the ramblings of a madman. <laughs> like I said, if you can't have fun doing this, then you might as well hang it up. If it doesn't bring you pleasure and you don't enjoy it, then what good is it? Okay? I've always said that, and I live by that rule. It's just like I do heating and air for a living, I enjoy that. And, uh, that's what I do. That's my, that, that, that's the thing that keeps me, that keeps me going. And, um, you know, when you do heating and air, uh, you know, when I do it, I enjoy it. It's a blast. It's a lot of fun. Um, I have a lot of fun on the job and everything. And plus I get to play with big boy tools, like torches and stuff like that. Burn people's houses down. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And if the customer's a real idiot, well, then you know what I can do? I can just open up the chamber so that way they can carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, I do have a license. I can't do that, okay? Although sometimes I would like to. <laughs> ah, you know. Ah, just the way it is. All right, now, we're going to take our little reed wires right there. All right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to grab hold of this. And we're going to get these out of the way. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we have our black wires right here. Okay. And we have a little red wire. This is the second point right there. Just like that. Make sure they're not touching, because if they're touching, you're not going to get an end read. Okay. And then we've got brown. There we go. Brown, orange. Some people use leads. I'm good with the wires. I've had this set of wires forever. I haven't burned them up yet, so life is good. Okay, brown, and then we have a third one, which is our yellow. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. That third one, I don't know what the hell they put in there, but it always. Ooh! Okay, now. Hey, Alexa, guess what? Shove it up your... Sorry? Sorry. It's okay. All right, now, okay, what we're going to do is now we're going to plug this puppy in. 
we have a red light. Pipe is good. We'll do the HDMI too. That's going to blank my screen, I do believe. Yep, there it goes. And now we'll come back. All right, now. Oh, Angelo. Of course I will stream it for you, Trevor. You know I'm going to stream it for you. Any kind of Corona that, that takes like an hour to boot, yeah, I'm, I, don't, I want to know what's in that mother. Okay, I'm telling you right now. Okay? So, anyway. All right, now, we're good there. Okay, we got power. All right, we've got J-Runner. Okay, running over here. And now what we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do is this. All right? Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but, you know, I mean, what can I do? All right, look. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to program this tiny file, okay? So it'll custom NAND zero functions, and you should have a folder. We're going to hit XS, XSFV. We're going to hit that, and we're going to go over to my desktop here, and then I'm going to go to the release. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Trinity right here, okay? And then uh, we're going to go to, uh, let's see here, we'll go to the 300 megahertz section. I'm going to use 60.3. That's usually the sweet spot. I'm going to use uh, TRL 03T 60.3. Okay. I'm going to click on that. And that's the one I'm going to program. Then I'm going to take this right here. Okay. And what I'm going to do now, you got to make sure you do it the right way. Okay. Your red wire always goes to the furthest point towards the fan. Okay. Because if you supply 5 volts the other way, um, this is not going to be good. Okay. I'm using a motherboard to power this thing, so I'm not worried about that. It's just that you will not, you will not get, you will not get a good right. Okay. Now, what I mean by clone chips is like this. Okay. Look, I got that into there. Okay. I'm gonna hit run. All right. Now, should find it. USB access. Initialize. What the hell? And of course, the thing's gotta be an idiot here. Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Let me restart this thing. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Now, we'll do this once again. Advanced, custom, access FV. Okay, hit that. TR3, run. There we go, it's detected. Now, when you have a real A ship, this will pop up. Factory firmware, sign detected, okay? Writing this device is one way process and can't be reversed. Do you want to proceed? Yes, I do, because I'm using Alexis timing glass. So I'm going to hit yes, and then this thing. It's going to start writing. When it reaches the end, that's when we know that the ship is written to. Okay? So I, I'm just holding it in place, you know. I mean, don't have to solder this thing. Just a good pin set and you're good. It ain't no big deal. Alright, and we're going, and we're going, and we're going, and we're going, and we're going. And she's just about, there you go. Okay? So we're good there. Okay, now what we're going to do, alright, is this. I'm going to open this thing up right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly go to Trinity, I'm going to go to speed up, I'm going to go to smc.bin, I'm going to copy that. Okay? I'm going to copy, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back over to my desktop right here, I'm going to go to JRunner, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through all of these systems that I have RGH'd over the years. Okay? And this is not all of them, this is just one. <laughs> yeah, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, all right. Um, all right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to, uh, let's see here. We're going to go to XE Build. All right. And then we're going to scroll on down. We're going to go to, let's see here, Data. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to right-click and we're going to paste this puppy right in here. Okay. Yes, we want to replace it. Okay. With Alexi's SMC, man. Okay. And we're good. All right. And that's it. Okay. And then we're just going to exit out of that and exit out of that. That way, then it's in there. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit Read NAND. Okay. Now, if my connections are right and everything, it should read the NAND without a problem. There you go. Let's see here. Yep. Flash config 23010 Trinity Jasper 16 megabyte reading NAND. Okay. So we've got a three minute read time on this. All right. Now, any questions? Any questions? COVID 19! <laughs> Bizarro! Jimmy Clark, how you doing? James Roden, hello. Main Clark. Yes. How you know while? How you been, brother? Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're having a little bit of fun right here. Okay, because we're we're gonna be RG in this crazy thing. And uh pretty much we're good to go there. We don't have to worry about that. Now mind you, okay, I went ahead where is it? Uh yeah. By the way, okay, Andy, you're getting a new uh new you know, new hard drive case, okay? Already took care of the hard drive and everything. I won't 
I see, I, I believe in putting new cases in these things because, I mean, you know, you're paying for it. What the hell? Okay? I mean, those cases are like three bucks, two bucks, something like that. So it's just, you know, what the hell? Okay? You might as well do it. You're going to do it right. Do it right. I can't stand opening up an Xbox and seeing a hard drive wrapped in tissue paper. Okay? You know, you're sitting there going like, okay, so... Now I have extra tissue. Now, now I have extra toilet paper. Good, I can wipe my butt. All right, you know what I mean? How these guys do this, I don't know. I mean, they, they, those shelves are easy to get. You get them on Amazon. You get them for about they're two dollars a pop. I, I mean, and it's 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 worth it. I mean, people appreciate that because now it's sitting in the track. Okay, and look, look, see, look, slides nice. Okay, you know, she's locked in there real good. Ain't going anywhere. Okay, pull the tab, comes right out. See. Nice, easy, no big deal. Okay, but no, people rather rotten tissue paper. And I've been across many where all I saw was, let's see here, this, right here. And here it is. Yeah, let's shake it around, you know, I mean, no no protection, no nothing. And, you know, gee, why is my Xbox acting funny? Well, maybe because the platter on your hard drive is freaking shot because it's been bounced around so much. Okay, you know? I mean, it's bad enough when you're shipping these things, you gotta be careful. Alright, you know, I mean, you gotta wrap the damn thing with all kinds of bubble wrap and everything. And many, I'm gonna tell you what, I've had a couple that have been broke, I've had quite a few that have been broken, and I told, I told them, send them back, and I'll fix whatever I need to, you know? Even though it was the post office fault, not mine. Still in it. Shut up, Alexa! Oh, I'm gonna give you a help section in a minute. You're gonna need help in a minute. I'm telling you right now. You know? You ever get to the point? Hey Alexa. One more time. One more freaking time. I have anger issues. <laughs> I do have anger issues. Coronavirus. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've got anger issues. I, I'll admit it. I'll be the first one to admit it. Yes, I have anger issues. I have anger issues with stupid things, along with stupid people. Hey, right? I ain't got time for the crap. You said I'm 53 years old. I'm old. I'm, I'm edgy. Don't mess with me, and I listen to metal, okay? Don't screw with me. I hurt you, okay? Now, okay, we read the name. Hooray! Okay. What are we going to do now? I'm going to tell you what we're going to do now. This is what we're going to do. Now, with Alexi's diamond clouds and everything... You have to use a special ECC that he wrote, okay? So what we're going to do is now, the NAND's nice and safe, okay? It's in the output folder. So what we're going to do, we're going to load the source. We're going to go back to Trinity. Then we're going to go to Speed Up. And what we're going to do, we're going to do Trinity Ace ECC. Then we're going to go ahead and we are going to write the ECC, okay? We're going to hit Trinity, and we're going to hit OK. And now what it's going to do, it's going to write the ECC to the board, okay? The ECC writes over the first 50 blocks of the NAND, which, you know, is Zell. Zell will go ahead and it will capture threads from the CPU, which will get you the CPU key. Okay? The all-important CPU key, which is what you need. Because if you don't have a CPU key, you're kind of screwed. Okay? Because <laughs> that's the only way to unencrypt the NAND and actually be able to write, you know, the XE build to it. Okay? So anyway, there we go. Okay? We're good. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to take my Joshua Long freaking super quick button pusher freaking crazy thing. Pop that in the Xbox right there. Now, I already have it connected up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. And um, hopefully, with an insane amount of luck. Okay. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to bring you up a little closer right here. That way then you can see down onto the chip, maybe. No? Here we go. Can you see now? Okay, see a little red light? See? Okay? Now we're going to hit this. Now, what should happen is we should get a couple of blips. There we go. Okay? It's already done. There we are. And um, lo and behold, the chastity belt is off. The panties are off. The bra's off. It's time to freaking party! Okay. So, now, of course, I'm not going to show you his CPU key. All right, because that would be blasphemy, all right? However, though, what I'm going to do here 
is I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna need a camera. Hang on. One second, be right back. Just have to grab my camera, hang on. One second, be right back. I feel like I'll be back before I'm done. Okay, now. All right, and there's, lo and behold, there is the CPU key. All right, now, what we're going to do here. All right, uh, press and hold that. Yeah, okay, I don't want that, okay. I don't want that. Get off of there. Take your camera, here we go. Now we're going to take a picture of the CPU key. That way, then we got it. Okay, so. And there we go. Okay. Now, got the CPU key. Let's see if the stupid phone saves it. Come on, you stupid thing, don't play with me, I'll hurt you. Uh, nope, that ain't it. Let's see. There we go. That's it. Okay, good. Okay, so now i got the CPU key. Okay, powered off. Alright, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to put the CPU key in. Okay? But, the first thing that you have to do when you're, when you're using, like I said, Alexi's timing files and all that crap, Okay, you have to load the source again now. So we're going to get rid of the uh, Trinity ECC, load source. We're going to go over to desktop. We're going to go to JRunner, and then we're going to go through our NAND list again, and we're going to go to the output folder, which is right here. And you see there is your NAND dump one bit right there. So you're going to load that. Now, you're going to put the CPU key in. Now, mind you, of course, like I said, I am not going to show you the CPU key because that would be wrong. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're not doing that, okay? So, let me put this in here. Alright. Three. Okay. Yeah, these things are long. Right. Let's see here. Yep, I got that right. Okay, that's good. Alright. Okay. And let's see here. The shut up phone. Nine, eight. Alright. Six, six. Okay. Three. Uh huh. One. And once you put the uh, CPU key in, okay. Yeah. Let's see here now. Right. One. Right. One. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. And it'll say the key is correct. And then what will happen is is now the NAND is decrypted. Okay. So we know what it is, we know our KV info, we know the NAND info, we know the last dashboard it was on, which is 17.544, okay, and life is grand. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit create XE build image, okay, so we're going to create it, and then it's going to say SMC bin found, delete it, no, you don't want to delete this, it even says unless you put it there, delete it, okay, so for Alexis, we do not delete that, okay, we just hit no. And then it's going to go ahead, it's going to create the NAND, and it's going to create the uh, hacked image. Alright? In which it just did. Alright? And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit write NAND. Alright? And there you are. And now it's writing the NAND. Okay? Now just so you can see, I don't want to reveal the CPU key. Okay? But as you can see right there, there you go. XE build finished. Yep, and we're writing the NAND. Okay? So, now... Like I said, I just don't believe in revealing people's CPU keys, okay? Just, I know it doesn't really mean much these days, but, you know, I mean, hey, it is what it is, all right? J-Def, holy mackerel. <laughs> yes, shoot Alexa. Yeah, <laughs> Hit three of my cons. Like, yeah, I know, Chris. Yeah, believe me. That just, yeah, I, I was, I was, you, you know, Chris, I'll tell you what, man. What really got me was when I shipped that friggin' arcade system to you. That cost like 500 bucks to ship alone. I think it was 560 or whatever. And they kicked it around. Man, I was so livid over that. You know, I mean, thank God it was all in one piece and it was okay. But I'm going to tell you what, man. And that was UPS. Okay? I mean, that really, you pay that much money and it gets it gets kicked around like that, you know? That was that time when that train wrecked. And we were, we were there joking. Yep, there goes your, there's your, there goes your arcade system right there. <laughs> Gets thrown from the box car, okay? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Uh, Chris Hill, how you doing? J Def. Mazi von Zyborg. 
Ooh, Madzi, how are you, my crazy little brain? I hope you're doing well, okay? I hope that you're doing well. I miss you, Madzi. It's good to see that you're around, okay? Mary S. Torres, holy map, I haven't seen you in forever. Where the hell have you been hiding, huh? Where have you been hiding? <sighs> good to see you. My Wi-Fi is excellent, by the way. <laughs> my Wi-Fi is absolutely excellent. I love it, okay? Um, in fact, so does my... Uh, so there's my little uh, crazy project right here, which happens to be this thing. Yes, yes, it loves it. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I love this little thing right here. This is like my, uh, this is like my, 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 one of my favorite little play toys, okay? I mean, it's just so cool. And, I mean, it just brings back a lot of memories. And there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff on here that I've worked on and I've added to it. And having this, man, it's just like, it's just so cool. I mean, I, I love it. I love it. It's just, it's just such a good little system. Very simple, nice, you know, runs good. You hook it up with excellent Kai, man, and you're good to go. And that thing, and I'm going to tell you what, the Latinos, man, that's a gang to be, a, that's a force to be reckoned with on Halo 2. Because they're sitting there with lag switches. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm an enthusiast. Eh. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm running rubber mats. I've got all that stuff, man. I, I, I mean, you know, everything's pretty much grounded around here. I got you. You got to. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> you have a nightmare on your hands. You know, I mean, especially with the laser, with the laser cutter in the room here and everything, because that draws a lot of power, and there's a lot of juice in that. And that, that power supply in there scares the ever living bejesus out of me. Okay, I mean, it's like, you know. You would think that, like, a 50-watt laser would be, like, nothing, you know? Yeah, you grab all that power supply and you let me know how you feel. Okay. <laughs> when you see God, <laughs> you'd be sitting there going, like, no! Oh, contacts? Sure. Yeah, man. Easy. See? There you go. Pretty easy. Nice and neat. I can't, I can't pull the board off of the, uh, off of the thing right now because it's, uh, it's right in the NAND, okay? Uh, but anyway, yeah, everything nice and neat, done, you know. No playing around. Ain't got time to play around. It's gotta be right. Otherwise, look out. Okay! She's written! Alright, now. Okay. The moment of truth. Now, mind you, okay, as you all know, this thing fits in a chassis, okay? The chassis happens to be, you know, it's a certified chassis to be able to hold radio frequency. So, of course, this tiny file might change when I put this board back in the chassis, okay, and have all the stuff hooked up to it because that's the only way that you're going to get a good boot time. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then you have to hunt the timing file, okay, to make it so at least it boots within three cycles, all right? That, you know, three cycles is cool, all right? It's not a problem. You know, I like to get it in two or one. Sure, everybody would. But sometimes these things, you know, plus or minus 5% tolerance from the factory, which means that every one of them is different, and every one of them is unique in its own little way, okay? It may be an IBM 3.7, you know, 3.2 gigahertz processor with a GPU on it, but still and yet everything is, everything changes on the board. So, anyway, okay, it's written, it's done, okay, life is grand, okay, what we're going to do. I'm going to minus that out of there, okay? And now, I don't know if you can see the, uh, let me see if we can see the little light there. No, of course not. Of course not. Yeah, you can. Now you can. All right. Yep, there you go. Okay. So, anyway, here's the chip. All right, now hopefully, hopefully, this thing will boot. Let's give it a shot. Let's see, that's one. Okay, that's two. Let's see what happens here. Like I said, sometimes. Yep, there it goes. Caught it. That's it. Done. All right. So, now what's going to happen is, is, of course, my monitor decides to be a complete idiot. Okay? Yep. That's what happens. Hang on. i got to turn this monitor off, and then i got to turn it back on. Sorry about that, guys. It's just the way that this thing... It's an old monitor, and it's got some sentimental value to it. That's why it's still in my shop. Okay? All right. Now, let's do this once again. Fire it up. There we go. Okay. And there we are. See, like I said, once you're going, you just have to reset the monitor. Okay, we're good. All right. Now, 
Okay, as you can see, that time I booted one shot, one kill, done. Okay, should go to the dashboard now. There you go. All right. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do it again, just just for ha ha sake. Let's see. I love doing this. Tortures them. <laughs> Let's mess with the SMC. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what it does here. Yep, there it goes. Caught it. Boom. Done. There you go. Okay. So. What we have now is a working RGH, all right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to power this thing off. I'm going to disconnect this, disconnect that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to de-sweat these wires right here, okay? Okay, we'll grab the iron. Turn the light on so I can see. Okay, all right. Remove the power from the damn board before you touch it with a soldering iron. Because heat does generate electricity and... You can easily fry something very quickly, okay, which is something you don't want to do, all right? Not at this stage of the game, okay? There we go, okay? Now, yeah, we'll grab this, grab that. See, oh yeah, I love when it gets bridged like that. That's just so much fun. Mm. Here we go, okay. Now, shorten them up. Then what we'll do, we're going to go ahead, all right? Now, we got that all done and out of the way. We're going to grab some cleaner. I usually use goof off repellent. Yes. Keeps the goofs at bay. Okay. I have a lot of it. Sometimes I have to douse myself in it. Okay. Now, grab hold of that. Get this stuff on here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to wipe down these contacts. Get the flux. Now, this is no clean flux, so you really don't have to do this. But, you know, for the hell of it, yeah, we're going to do it anyway. Okay. Now she's nice and clean. Then we're going to flip it over. Okay. Be careful around this one. That one is very, very, very careful. Okay, and then we're going to get this one right here. Good. We're good. That's nice and clean now. All right. So we're good there. All right. Now, the fun part begins. Okay, because now what we're going to do is we're going to take this chassis. All right. Okay, our chassis, okay, first we're going to wipe it down, get the dust off of it, alright, like I said, cleanliness is next to godliness, okay, don't need the soldering iron anymore, alright, we're going to place that puppy right in here, just like that, okay, now, that's all clipped in there. And like I said, this is a Faraday cage. Okay, this is known as a Faraday. Okay? Why? It's got all these equipment. Now, this is not only for ventilation, but it's also to keep RF in. So that way then you don't get irradiated. Because you have to be careful about that. You don't want to get irradiated. Okay? It's no fun. Trust me. I did it once or twice. When your hair falls out, it's not a good thing. Okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay? I'm, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> Alright, so, now, no, I see comments, here we go. Scared the solder, yeah, no, I set, I set my soldering iron at 703. The best thing I can tell you is this, my friend, look, if you're going to do this, if you want to try and do this, look, get an old PC board and work and find the smallest point on that board that you can find, alright, and then flex it and solder to it. When you get a nice clean solder point out of it, then you know that you're ready to work on one of these. Okay? The best thing to do, I can tell you right now, practice. That's it. It just takes a lot of practice. You know, I mean, seriously, guys, I've got 5,400 or plus consoles out there. Okay? And uh, believe me, the first one I ever did, oh my God, man. Okay? No, I didn't listen to what I said. Okay? At all. No, I just went right at it. You know, that Xbox got thrown away. Okay? Because <laughs> when it was through, it was very, very ugly. All right? Okay? It was... Very ugly. Okay? I'll be the first to admit it. I'm human. I make mistakes. And the trick is, though, is that if you make a mistake, can you fix it? And if you fix it, then life is good. That's all. Everybody's human. Everybody makes a mistake. I love these people. I'm like, oh, I'm just so perfect. Please, give me a freaking break, okay? Shut up. You put your pants on the same way I do. My fly's on the front of my freaking pants. Okay? I don't care who the hell you are. All right? Now, we'll put that down on there, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put this, that slides right in there, 
And then we will go ahead and we will put one screw in here. Okay. This is for our chassis right here. Now we'll lock that into place. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put another screw in right here. That also helps lock the motherboard in place. And we're going to get one more. I'm going to put that little puppy right in here. Now the front is locked in place. Now we can flip it over. We don't have to worry about the motherboard going anywhere or anything like that, okay? And what we will do is now we will put our X clamp screws in. Very important to do this. Sometimes I see Xboxes without screws and I'm like going like, are you kidding me? This is the thing that tightens the damn heat sink down to the, down to the damn die. Or I should say the chip. If you don't do this, um, bad things happen. You want to go across. Okay, don't do one side here like that. You want to go across. That way you spread it out evenly. So now that heat sink paste is getting all spread out nice and even. And then we can start over here on this one. Just like a cylinder head on a car. Start from the inside out. Okay. I know it's trivial. I know some people don't. But you know what? This is the way I was brought up. So, you know. We'll put this right here. Just like that. Now. Okay. And we're good. Now we will take the rest of these. Okay. I'm going to put them all in the screws right here. Screw holes, I should say. Okay. And there we go. All right, now we can continue screwing this down here. And don't go eight crap on it, okay? It's a, it's, it's a motherboard, okay? Make sure there's a snug. You don't have to go crazy on it. Okay. There we go. And let's see here. We got one more right here. There you go. Okay. Flip it over. Notice I did that with style. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hard drive. Shove that in there. Take this and this. All right. Now, I'm going to plug the DVD drive in. Then we're going to go ahead, plug this in. That way then everything's plugged in. All right. Yes, we're even going to go ahead and what we're going to do, we shall go ahead and we will plug the Wi-Fi in. That way then everything that this thing is drawing on, all the power and everything is already all plugged in. That way then we can tell if we need to change the timing file or whatnot, okay? So, all right. Now, let's see here. Let's turn this light off so I'm able to see the, uh, the green flash. Okay. All right. Now, yep, there we go. We're in the dark. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to power this thing on. So we can see the green flash. And there she was. She booted three cycles. Okay. There you go. Okay, we're going to turn it off. Now, we're going to give this the benefit of the doubt. We're going to do it again. One cycle. See? Three. One. Okay, there she goes. I just want to get a happy medium. This is not an exact science, okay? Alright, turn it off. There we go. We'll start it up again. There you go. One. One pulse. Done. So we got three. One. One. Okay. Do it again. Okay. Now mind you, I am booting this in succession. Very quick succession, okay? Let's see what happens here now. Yep, there she goes. Okay. Alright, now. There's another way too. Okay, it's another way also. What we want to do is we want to pull power on the side. We want to pull power on the back of it and then plug it back in and then boot it back up because that really messes with it. Okay? And there you go. One shot, one kill. We're good. 
Check. One more time. There we go. That just messed with it big time. Yeah, one shot, one kill. There you go. Done. What's up, David? Chris. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Watch your YouTube videos and practice on some old boards. Yep, you're damn right. Damn right. Now, okay, there we go. So now we're at that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot this thing up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press eject, and then it should go to the dashboard, I do believe. So, we'll go ahead. We'll hit eject. Let's see what happens here. The video messed up on my monitor. <laughs> what else is new? Hang on. There we go. All right. Now, okay, I pressed eject. So now what it should do is now it should bypass the plugins and it should go to the hard drive now and boot completely. So let's see what happens. Yep, she locked up. Yep, there goes the fan. And life is good. Yep. Okay. Now, of course, there is nothing, okay, because the simple fact is, is that, well, let me uh, go ahead and hit this button right here. We'll sync a controller up here. Okay. Now, there's nothing in here. All right. As you can see. All right. No games found. No nothing found. Okay. Xbox Live. Nothing found. All that crap. Because, you know, I have to go ahead and I have to re, I have to redo the databases. Okay. But anyway. Okay. Look. This thing is good to go. All right. You're not going to have any problems out of it. It boots good. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it back together again. Okay? So remember to pull the Wi-Fi out because this thing has a cute little Faraday cage on it. All right? So we'll button that up like so. Okay? And then what we'll do, for ha ha's sake, put that in just like that. All right? Put that up there. We'll screw this in. Right here and right now. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Sometimes I forget that there's a camera there. I forget to move it around so you can see. Alright, now. We'll go ahead and we'll do this. Okay. And then. We'll screw this one in. Like so. Be careful of the ribbon cable. Alright. Now gonna go ahead and grab that hole of that that should fit in there then we're gonna flip it over okay put our screws in okay and let's see here okay and there's our case screws there we go that's one Two, three, and don't go eight crap on these because it's only plastic, okay? <laughs> You'll snap it and have our feet. There we go. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll take this right off of here, slip that right in, it'll clip right in, and then there we go. We now have a partially assembled Xbox. Then what we'll do, we'll go ahead and we'll put the Wi-Fi adapter back in. Okay. We'll screw this down. Again, it's plastic. Don't go away, crap. All right. And, all right. Now we'll put the cover on. That. Okay. And we'll go ahead. We'll do this right here. Put that on. Snaps right in place. Flip this over. We'll put our drive door on. Like that. Clip this in. Just like that. Drive door. Okay. There you go. One crazy Xbox. Okay? Now, we'll go ahead. Do this. We'll plug this in. Alright, we'll boot it up. We'll press eject. 
So then that way then we don't have to worry. There she goes. Life is good. Okay. And we'll hit the uh, sync button there. There we go. That way then we're all synced up. Okay. Now it should go to the dashboard, FSD. Alright, now, if you're interested, okay, might as well move along with this and that way then people understand. Yeah, Jordan, yeah, I, I, you see, this is all, this is already pre-done. That, that's the reason why I do this. I'm gonna do some Aurora ones too, don't worry about that none, okay? I am gonna do some Aurora ones. Okay. But anyway, uh, for the time being here, all right, this is FSD Dash, okay? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what we're going to do, how to set this thing up here, okay? All right, now, like I said, you've got nothing in here because it's XML files and it's just crazy, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is we go to Utilities. We'll hit File Manager, all right? And then, of course, I have to go ahead and I have to change some stuff here. So we'll go down here. We'll go to that. That's wrong. So we'll go ahead and we'll delete that off the, off of HDD1. Okay. I'm going to go to my USB stick right here. I'm going to put this one on here. There we go. X. And we'll hit, we'll hit the left bumper and hit A. And that will copy it to the hard drive. Okay. I'm done with the stick now. Okay. So, now. Okay. Now, here's what we got to do here. First thing that we got to do here, all right, is we go over and we'll go to the homebrew apps, okay? We'll go to, whoop, we'll go to dashboard, okay, right here. We'll hit that. Okay, and now we're at our dashboard, okay? So we'll go ahead. All right, go to system. First, we're going to go to storage. I'm going to remove a profile here because this is an Xbox Live profile, okay? Go over here, go to profiles. Yep, this is the one I want to delete. Okay. Okay, yep. Alright, now. Okay, we got that done, okay? Now, we're going to go to network settings, alright? Now, what's the. What, I hope that you have trouble connecting to the internet, Alexa. Oh my god, okay? Let's see here. Alright, that's my new router, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit that, now it's going to ask me for my password, now of course, you ain't going to see that, okay, right? <laughs> let's see here, oh yeah, what is it, yeah, it's a, it's a real long one too, right. let me just put my password in here, okay, yep, and yeah, this thing is long, man, oh my god. All right, now, I'm going to hit done. Okay, now it's going to test the Xbox Live connection, okay? Now, of course, it's going to fail because, you know, I bypassed the plugin, so, of course, the XEX is not loading. All right, but we should have network. We should have internet. I would hope. <laughs> it takes forever. Yep, there we go. Okay, and this is going to fail now because the DNS is all screwed up, which is cool. It's okay. We're just going to set this thing up now. Okay, so that way then you can see, uh, you can watch how I set this thing up. Because a lot of people have problems with FSD Dash. And there is some hidden things that people don't talk about. And, you know, they're like going, well, why can't I, why can't, why can't I, why can't I see anything? You say, yeah, yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, we know. It's a DNS error. No big deal. So we'll get out of there. Okay. Service is up. Life is good. Okay. So now we'll get out of here. What we'll do here now is we'll go to My Games. Okay. We'll go to, let's see here, FX Menu. Yep, there we go. All right, we'll click on that. There you go. No big deal. Bypass that. All right, now, the reason why sometimes when you go ahead, you see the games are listed and everything, okay? All right, but we're going to hit our, bump, our bumper, all right? And there's the HED1, okay, that we want. A lot of people wonder why, why doesn't it add the games when I, when, when I, when I go ahead and scan for content? Well, the problem is, is that, see, with Freestyle Dash, what you have to do, is you have to go into data. Alright, you got, well, no, you don't want to go into the flash, okay? You gotta go into game data, okay? Alright, now, what you're gonna do here, you're gonna hit Y and you're gonna delete that. Okay? This is under FSD Dash though, by the way, okay? So, just make sure that's the one that you delete. Okay, so you delete that, okay? Yeah, I want to get rid of the crap. Alright? Confirm. 
It's a big folder, so it takes a minute. All right. Then we go to databases, okay? Settings we don't want to mess with. Content is the one that we want to mess with, okay? It's another database. We're going to delete that too, okay? Confirm. All right, now that that's done. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Dash Launch, okay? Let's see here. Where the hell is it? Under Homebrew, yep. Yeah. There we go, Dash Launch 3.21. Default XCX. Gonna hit that, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my fan speed up. Let's see here. Okay. Whoop. I set mine at 65. Perfectly fine. Save the config. All right, and then we're just going to back out of that. Now it should auto launch into FSD, into FSD dash. Just like it would auto launch into Aurora. Same thing. See? There we go. All right, now. To set up your folders. All right. Notice I have a local area network IP right here, okay, which is cool. All right, that's what we want. All right, now as you can see, our temperature is 122, GPU is 116, memory is 111, case temperature 91. We're in great shape, okay? 2.7 gigabytes left on the 320 gig drive. All right, now you still notice, right? There ain't nothing in here, okay? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to setup, okay? Now we're gonna go to content settings okay now we go down manage game pass you'll see that there's no game pass okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set a scan depth of seven we're going to bring it down over change pass hdd1 go to content just the content hit y x y and we're going to add another one okay we're going to change that path all right now hdd1 emulators y x y okay Change path. We'll do another one here. Go to games. Y, X, Y. We're going to add that. We're going to hit change path again. Okay? Because then we're going to go to homebrew apps. Y, X, Y. Okay? Change path once again. And then we'll go to Xbox OG. Y, X, Y. Okay? Now. <clears throat> all right. There's all of our game paths right there. That's what we want. Okay? Now, we're going to go to scan settings. Now, you notice I have this disabled auto scanning startup. Why? It uses a ton of memory and there's no reason to keep scanning it over and over and over and over. Okay? No reason for it. But you want to do it once. So, we're going to start a manual scan. Okay? Now, it's going to start. And then what's going to happen, okay, is we're going to sit there and you will see... Yeah, in the bottom of this, it says loading items, as you can see, 36 items left, so on, and there's a whole bunch more coming up, and then what's going to happen is it's going to load all of our titles, all of our artwork, everything, and once it's done, then you will see these folders fill up. As you can see, it's still scanning all the items and everything else, okay? So, as I said, it scans it and everything, and then once you're scanned up and everything, and everything's good, you're good to go. Pretty simple, okay? And you'll see where it'll start downloading once it figures out all the items. Here's a lot of items in there, okay, as you can tell. All right, there we go. We're scanning more, and there's more, and there's a lot more. Right now, it's on the emulators folder, okay? And then it's going to move over to the games folder. Then it's going to move to the OG folder. Then it's going to move to the homebrew folder, so on and so forth. See, there's all the games and everything. See, we're adding we're adding more stuff. It's adding more stuff, okay? This is, this is linked through Unity, okay? So then that way, then, you know... You get all your stuff. You see now, as you can see, we're downloading. And we're getting kilobytes per second now, all that kind of good stuff. And then what's going to happen? It's still loading, okay, by the way. As you can see, TUs and all that kind of good stuff, all right? So anyway, it'll load, and then it'll find everything and put it in the appropriate places, all right? No big deal, okay? So life is good. And as you can see, we're downloading. So, there you go. Just in case you wanted to know how that works. Pick Pony 69 Wi-Fi back. Nobody. <laughs> That's why. Pink unicorn 69. <laughs> Dude, you're not right, Trevor. You're not right at all, man. You're 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 wrong. Wrong. I haven't seen you in ages, man. How you been? Good to see you. You know. But anyway, that's how we load. That's how you load FSD dash. Okay. And as you can see, we're downloading and we're downloading. Okay. And now what's going to happen is just so you can see. All right. There, move that up. Okay. 
I'm going to hit that, and then what's going to happen is, now mind you, it's scanning and everything, so it's slow, unfortunately. Okay? See, it says no, see, it's finding all the games and everything, and then what it's going to do is then it's going to load all the artwork. Okay? So pretty much, you know, it's the same thing here. I hope I don't crash it while I'm doing this. Oh my God. <laughs> okay? See? Soul Calibur, Sega, you know, all that stuff. Okay? You see? So, and now it's just downloading the artwork. So, you know, and then it's going to fill it all in. And then we'll be done. Okay? So anyway, there you are. So that's how we RGH them. Alright? I hope that this helps some people. Alright? Because that's why I do this. Is to help people that just, you know, want to want to learn. And want to be able to do this themselves. Okay? You know, I mean, you know, there's no secrets or anything like that. This stuff has been around forever. Alright? You just got to look at the right, look in the right areas. But, you know, like I said, I just wanted you guys to see how it's done. And everything else. And including... Threatening the Xbox and the, and Alexa. Okay, so anyway, those are extra tools of the trade. Okay, <laughs> someone comes to the door I don't like. But anyway, guys, look, I want you all have a good day. All right, Andrew. Again, thank you for your business. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna get this done. Then I'm gonna do a finishing video for you guys. For for you, I'll put it up on YouTube and you'll see it. And then we're gonna ship it off on Monday. All right. And then of course I got more to do. A lot more to do. So, you know, I mean, especially thanks to Chris Wright and his crazy self sending me five freaking consoles that have to be all custom. All right. So, you know, and Trevor, I'm going to take care of yours next. And we're going to work on the, uh, we're going to work on your Corona that's acting like a complete moron. All right. Um, if I have to replace the chip, I got to replace the chip. Ain't no big deal. Don't worry about it, brother. I got you. All right. So anyway, everything's been going good, Ronnie. I've been staying safe and everything. I hope, I hope you have been too. Um. Haven't seen you in a while, man. I'm glad that you're doing well and everything, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm doing as best as I can, brother. You know, I mean, that's all you can do. This is just crazy. We've got all this stuff going down. They're locking down the city. They're doing this. They're doing that. And it's like, all right, well, it is what it is. You know, I mean, so here we are. You know, we're just running, uh, we're just running breakdowns and, um, you know, breakdowns and emergency calls for the heating and air side right now because, you know, I mean, people don't want us in there, and they don't want us in the house. You know, I mean, like I said, it's just it's just gotten a little crazy. But you know, a couple of months it'll be fine. So you know, it is what it is. But I'm glad that you're doing good. I really am. Listen, pay me, bitch. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen. Thanks for watching. Okay, I greatly appreciate it. I hope I gave you some insight on how we do these and how they need to be done. You know, I mean, there's a right way, there's a wrong way, there's my way. <laughs> you know, I mean. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, just hopefully do it the right way if you're going to mess with this stuff, okay? Please, take your time. Nobody's rushing you. Just take your time and just just follow the steps. It's not that hard, okay? So anyway, uh, it's not brain surgery and you're not doing a dual man. Okay, not yet anyway. Okay, but anyway, guys, look, look. Um, guys, love you. Take good care of yourselves. Be safe. I mean that. I really do. Be safe, above all, all right, and be careful. And, you know, try to stay out of this crap because you don't want it. I'm telling you, we, we've had quite a few deaths already here in Alabama uh, from this crap. So just stay safe, all right? I love you guys, all right? Take care of yourselves. And um, Trevor, yeah, you're going to be up next, man, once I get this puppy loaded. And, um, you know, and then uh, we're going to mess with your stuff, okay? So anyway, you all have a good one, guys. I'll holler at you later. Take care. Thank you again for watching. I greatly